Hello everyone, it's Dave, and if anyone watches my channel, you know my Jeep's name is Natalia. Um, I'm excited actually, it's the first video that I'm actually um, appearing on video. Uh, a couple of reasons for that, one is I wanted to show um, this t-shirt my wife and my son uh, had made for me for my birthday back in June. They took a picture of Natalia, and they, there's the back of it, and they sent the picture, I'll get a little closer to it, to my lovely sister-in-law Rose who's a great artist, and she put um, the picture of Natalia onto, I don't know, she put it straight onto the shirt, or if it gets screen printed, I'm not quite sure of the process. I'm not an artist, but anyways, it, uh, I think it turned out great. I love it, it's one of my favorite shirts. I actually have another one that's in like a lighter gray. My son has one as well. You'll notice the license plate actually said uh, D3C L4N, which is actually my son's way of doing Declan in a fancy way. Anyways, love the shirt. Thank you to the three of them for that. My birthday, I really appreciate it. Um, the video today is actually going to show you my onboard air system that I built. Um, the people that follow me, they know that I do not um, show my whole process of installation. Um, I'm not great at it. The narration part of it to me would be really tough. I follow a couple of people on YouTube as the rest of you probably do for your installs uh, and to get all your crazy ideas and for great installs and uh, lots of great fixes as well. Uh, the fellow I tune to the most, his channel is uh, poweraddictsfixjeeps.com. And also I watch um, another fellow, Hard Earned Bacon, I believe is his channel. Um, I'll post those links uh, below so you can follow them if you need to. Um, but Hard Earned Bacon um, is awesome. And also, like I say, Power Addicts Fix Jeeps, he lists all of his components, which is so helpful, does a great job with it. and. Um, Honestly, I've gotten so many ideas from the fellow. He's never steered me wrong um, when I watch his, his uh, YouTube channel. I actually don't know his name. He should actually post his name sometime. Great guy though. But anyways, um, yeah, I'll walk you through all the things that I've added to it. I put um, an onboard air system in and I'll explain the parts as I go. And uh, if, then if you have any questions about it, you can ask below in the comments and I will try to get back to you on them. And um, yeah, so let's... Uh, Let's go through that process, showing you what I put in, and I'll even talk about a couple of mistakes that I made. Anyway, here we go. Just bear the walk around with me. Okay, so I am back. The first thing I will do is just start off with, I do have a switch right there on my dash. You can see I've labeled some of my componentry there. Anyways, where it says onboard air, that's my switch for it. Um, my little blue light there shouldn't actually be on. I'm trying to find a little wiring gremlin. The switch works perfectly as far as turning it on, turning it off, but for some reason that blue light is always on. But it functions well, so I'm not going to worry about it. Let's go around to the front. So what I did is, first and foremost, I sourced out... AC compressor um, for my Jeep. I found it on uh, Amazon, like most of you find a lot of parts. I honestly try and source all parts locally in the city I live in, um, first and foremost. I always try and find them locally. You have to support local. But when I can't find them, or if the price is ridiculously different, um, way cheaper on Amazon in most of my cases, I just have to break down and get them locally to save the money um, and in a lot of cases the time a lot of the stuff locally they're just not able to source anything these days um, so basically Amazon the next thing you know I've got them at my doorstep in three days I hate saying that I like to shop local but I'm just being honest with you anyway I sourced the AC compressor I had a friend um, help me with uh, you can see I put in a little three gallon tank here Again, it's Amazon. <laughs> Anyways, I have a friend help me. He's an incredible welder, my buddy Justin. Um, he welded these brackets up for me. And um, so anyways, it's a great little tank. Three gallons, not a lot of, not a lot of volume, but uh, it's enough to get a little start when you're gonna pump up those tires. Um, so over to the manifold. We have the manifold here, relay switch which is going to turn on and keep uh, the pressure between 90 PSI and 120. A blow off valve 
here, which is going to turn off at about 125, 130. I installed the gauge up front so I can see everything that's going on. Um, so from the compressor, well, it should even start before the compressor, air intake into the compressor on the supply side, on the discharge side, going out to an actual um, valve, which does not let the air back into the compressor, so it's a check valve, into some copper tubing, which I might upsize this a little bit, but again, I was just having a hard time finding the size of what I needed, into the manifold. Like I say, the manifold, um, first thing is the regulator or the pressure switch, which will turn it on, blow off valve, through, and it's coming into my tank, right here. And what I decided to do with my tank was I decided to go one off of the front, because I wanted to go to the front, and I've conveniently located it right down here, uh, just close to my winch. I'll back up so you can see. It is visible um, to the general public, and even walking by can actually see it, but you know, it's, it's strong, it's tough, it's tamper-proof, it's not really in the way, it's easy to clip into. Um, I, I think it's a good spot for it. Um, it's not gonna get hit by anything. They have lots of protection up front. So um, yeah, it's a good spot for it. And what I did is also this tank had a third outlet. So I took this line and I put it to the rear of Natalia back here. I'll crouch down and show you. Hopefully the lighting is okay. So it's right in the rear here. Um, and this was an interesting story. I couldn't find a decent place where I wanted to put it. Now, a lot of people would say, oh, attach it to the bumper, put it somewhere really durable. Um, but I'm, I'm a bit of a fussy guy. I didn't want it on the bumper. I didn't want to drill my nice new bumper. Um, I really wanted it kind of tucked down and out of the way. Um, it's actually on the plate, um, the skid plate. It's actually underneath the uh, gas tank. So that's the protective plate for the gas tank. You can see it goes right across. All you Jeep fanatics know that already. So interesting story. I decided I was gonna put it there and I was drilling that plate. And honestly, I was extremely careful. The gas tanks on these Jeeps are a plastic gas tank. And uh, I had the uh, hole I was drilling plenty far enough away from the tank. I was drilling it and my drill bit jammed. And it has it jammed, I was drilling at a fairly high speed. The drill bit twisted and actually sent, it, it actually turned my whole drill in my hand, sent it over and I scored the gas tank. Gas starts gushing out everywhere. I'm uh, struggling for some type of a catchment pan to try and contain it. And uh, anyways, it, it was a mess. I, I managed to get control of it fairly quickly, but in the process, you know, I ruined a gas tank and set myself back on my project. On my project. Um, but you know, good things come out of it. You know, like we do these things to our Jeeps and uh, everything doesn't always go exactly as planned. The thing, good thing about it was I quickly jumped online to source a, uh, a gas tank for it and found a fellow that lives about a half hour from me. His name is Sean, we've become friends. Um, at his house, he literally has a graveyard of YJs and TJs. So uh, it's nice, you know, like out of one little tragedy, you know, scoring a gas tank and needing a new one, you know, you meet someone who's really cool, who's into the same uh, same hobbies and same interests. And, uh, you know, now I know that if I'm looking for parts, I know who to call. So um, yeah, so it all turned out great in the end. So what I should do, I guess, is I should uh, set the camera up and I will turn on the system and show you it pumping up at the front. I'll just go to that in one second. All right, so I've just set the camera up at the front of the Jeep. Um, this way you can watch the pressure gauge when I start it. I'm going to, um, I'm gonna start it, come back and talk over the noise, but as I start it, you're gonna instantly see it uh, building pressure and um, the, Pressure switch will shut it down at 125, and uh, from there we'll take the camera and we'll go and pump up a tire.
Okay, so just coming around to the back of the Jeep now. I shut the Jeep off just so I can talk and you can hear me clearly for a bit. But when I do uh, start airing it up, I'm gonna turn uh, the Jeep back on so that the compressor can work just to fill the tire quicker. So I just wanna demonstrate, um, I've aired this down to, to eight pounds, which is probably the lowest I would ever go for my style of wheeling. Probably put it down to eight pounds when I'm snow wheeling. Um, so yeah, I've taken it down to eight and we're gonna pump it up to 25. That's what I run them at around the city I live in. Um, you know, she is somewhat more of a pavement princess. I don't get off wheeling as much as I want to. Hopefully that's gonna change soon. But uh, yeah, so I just wanted to turn the Jeep off while I was talking to you. But we're going to turn it back on, turn the compressor back on, and then quickly take it up to the 25 PSI that I normally run around town at. So let's do that right now. Sorry about that. And hopefully I can do this one-handed. We are on. Pressure. There we go. Didn't have uh, it on the valve properly. I don't know if you can hear the compressor running in the background. It didn't take long to dump that three gallon tank, but uh, it is a bit of a helper, a little bit of a boost tank. It gets you going. We're already up to, from eight, we're already at 20. That's really not a bad response time at all. And I did test it. I actually did take my tire up to 36 PSI yesterday after I finished my system. Let's go up a little bit higher. We are now at 26, thereabouts. I do have a digital gauge, which is more accurate, but this is fine for video purposes. Let me shut it down. So there you have it. She's sitting back up level with uh, the tires all at the same air pressure. I hope you uh, like the video. Um, if you do, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if there's, like I say, any questions, just ask. I'll try and answer them. Um, but once again, I'll admit, the guy to watch is uh, Pyratix Fixed Jeeps if you really want uh, some more knowledge. I'm just a little backyard weekend warrior mechanic but having a blast doing this. I love it. Jeeps are becoming my biggest passion, besides my family, obviously. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping you enjoyed it. Everybody, have a great day, and we'll see you again. Cheers.